So today, here, I have a very dirty shark Ro no, not rotator, Shark Navigator, the original model that was released maybe, I'm not sure, eight years ago? I think it was released in 2010 or maybe even earlier. Can you make sure to like film the actual back? Oh, I'm getting it. So I'll take the bin off and just hook this right here. The bottom of the bin looks, looks decently dirty. The filter, I'm going to just simply just grab right here and just pull it out. The filter's not bad. That's not bad. There's, there shouldn't be two filters in here. I don't think there's supposed to be two in here. No, there are supposed to be two. There are supposed to be two filters in here. There's also that in there. And then there's the motor down there. And then there's yet another filter down here. Uh, you can tell this one's never been cleaned before. But these are in good condition. This one is two layers. So there's one, two, three, four filters in this machine. I don't think there's any more. I've seen, I give it a, a quick inspection. There's our main problem is this. This brush is encased with carpet fuzz and hair and stuff. So I brought an electric drill. So that's too far in there to reach. So I'll just have to use a screwdriver. Mind where? No, I didn't bring it over here. Back to recording again. All right. If an orange light starts flashing across the screen that looks the shape of the battery, that means it's... The battery? Uh-huh. No way. I, I, I just tell people, because <laughs> one, person, one person didn't know what that meant when they filmed it, so I had to explain that. Because it only looks like a battery if you actually really look at it. There's two more screws down here. I wonder if this nozzle is... Ah, look at that. Look at that, now I can get it off from the main unit so I don't have to uh, drag around the main vacuum. Well, that's helpful to know. The biggest thing I've seen is the brush roll. It's just caked with tons of hair. This is the most amount of hair I've ever seen in a vacuum brush before. It's crazy. So, there's no screw in here. At least I can't see one. Let's just put the screwdriver. Nope, there is. It's just covered in some dirt. Johnson's. Oh, if it doesn't come apart, then. Nope, there's more screws. There are the wheels. Right here. So you just have to get the metal and you just have to simply rotate like so. And then for small pieces, I use this so I don't lose any screws or anything. I just use the case that I brought my camera in, and then I just use it like that. And there's two more screws under here. One that's right there. Comes off like so. The uh, gasket for hard floors is broken off. There's usually a gasket in this little cutout part here, but it's not there anymore. But those wear off after a while. Seems like there's another screw on here somewhere. Or it just doesn't want to come apart. Okay. Oh, let's see. Oh, here we go. There's more. I have to make sure that they're all loosened. They're all to be completely loosened. Yeah, this one still has a little bit of a ways to go. Seventeen screws later. <laughs> That's the thing. These are very hard to get these nozzles. You have to take the little wheels off and everything. So it's all right. Yeah, the screws get in the way. So is this recording volume? Yes, it always records volume. Okay, so are you going to turn the volume off for it? No, I always leave the volume on in my videos. Okay. Looks like this was hanging by a thread. That was stuck. On the brush roll. Yeah. All right. That would be the... okay. Just... All right. Now I can access with the screwdriver or with the electric one. Is that? Let's give this 
this nozzle another scour no screw there no screw there all the screws are off so it should just pop apart like so it's caked on there yeah it's probably just been you need a it, flathead to pry it apart yes i do i don't have a flathead here's the problem i could use these but let's see if there's anything on the top that they're just going to be really mean about yeah. okay Got it apart, it just took a little prying, it's probably been stuck there for years. So, there's the two weights, it makes the brush roll heavy, so it cleans the floor better. Uh, here is the first thing that needs to be cleaned, it's a little bit, it moves relatively freely. No, it doesn't. I mean, it, it doesn't, look, <laughs> but it doesn't, it's does not stuck, so it should, it, since these bearings come apart, no, they don't, so, I don't want to, oh, there's one. Caked with a ton of hair in there. So the other one should come off as well. Again, they're just gonna be stuck from. Nope, that one doesn't wanna come out. So let's get the hair off this one first. Let's see how much we're working with. Yeah, we're working with a lot. So let's just get the good old scissors. We'll just pry and reach in here. Oh my goodness. Yeah, there's a lot in here. So let's just grab some side blades and just. So I'm going to take some time. All right. All right let's get the hair off this brush first. Oh, goodness. So this, I'm going to point this away from myself. Slice myself. Taking it off. This is gonna be. This is gonna take some time to get this hair off. I'm not even sure what that is. That's like pet hair of some sort. So here's what our brush roll is supposed to look like underneath. Bless you. Sorry. Oh, you're gorgeous. This is a lot. And then this also is clogged with hair right here. There's hair. This is where brush hole meets the uh, side of the vacuum right here right there so there shouldn't be hair here uh, there is somehow <laughs> there's no way it should be have gotten in there but it is somehow but it is somehow <laughs> so no oh my I think he lives with women I saw a clog in the hose just a few minutes ago when I opened my room. Hello there. Pause for go. So this is all the hair that was stuck on just the rush roll. And there's still a couple more little specks of it on here. It's There's a lot. And then here's the actual color of the brush roll. The brush roll is supposed to be gray, but you can see it's, you know, dirty. But it'll be nice and clean when I'm done with it. This piece. Well, you can pause it again. I need to. His belt got it out. Here's the whole motor assembly right here. This motor is. I had to take it out because it's going to burn out soon because there's hair in the fan, which goes through here and it eventually gets dirty a bit.
shaft of the brush roll or the brush roll motor right here. Just grab both and just pry out. Unplug the motor. There, from the motor's off. Now I can put those wires to the side so I don't have to worry about one of the wires. Seriously thick hair. Oh my goodness. I don't know hair how hair even gets in this area right here. <laughs> that is a lot of hair. Well this is only supposed to be like this wide. It's only supposed to be like the width of this. Most of this width right here is just hair. Like there's the width of the actual drive shaft and there's the width of the hair. That's just hair right there. This whole thing right here is just hair that's stuck in here. Hang on, pause. So I'm using an interesting technique I've learned before. I have my little electric drill with me and you can use the electric drill and, it, and use it almost as a little saw and slowly slice away at the hair with a power device. Just don't use on any super delicate parts like a piece of rubber, but this is all metal, so I'm not gonna <coughs> so we're grinding away slowly at the hair. <coughs> There's so much on here, I don't know how long this is gonna take, but it's gotta come off. So this is where air goes in. It's on one side and it's supposed to move it towards here. But there's this right here. And this is my guess is to bring dirt that's in here over into the dirt path. But also having this when it's off might accidentally get some dirt in here. So here our brush roll, you can see it's extremely dirty. It's supposed to be gray, it's not. So again. What are you spraying on it? This would be, it's a car interior cleaner that you can use Everything. You can do use it on leather, it's so gentle, so it won't damage the brush. So now, let's start scrubbing. You can see the dirt just melting off of this brush roll. It's going to be nice and clean when I'm done with it. This is all just dirt that's built up after from the many years of use. I have to scrub it really good. Get so what's the, the name of your cleaner? It's from 3D Products Car Care. You can, there's a few they only have uh, shops in major cities. Chicago, I think they have one. LA, I, I, do, I know they have one. See, that's the result. Getting the first time, I'm gonna take my gloves off. They're starting to get holes in them. I can feel water getting in them. So. And it's also easier to hold the brush roll just with my hand. All right, so look at that result already. There's still some dirt in these crevices right here, so I'm using my gloves. Abrasive sided sponge. Pull the heat just like that. Let it sit for a minute. And then I'm just gonna scrub. I'm gonna get the sponge a little wet so it can be flexible. There's some dirt right here. A lot of dirt in this brush roll. Okay, now I'm going to use the little dish soap to get some foam. The foam will help get in the little crevices into the actual brushes themselves. See, you're getting some more suds here. I'm going to use one of the brushes again, one of those. And I'm just going to go across. Have you hold the area that spins. It doesn't spin super well because, you know, it's a little bit clogged. But that bearing will not come off. And I don't want to try too hard and break it. So now let's give it another rinse. If pieces are dirty enough, I soak them in a bath of dish soap. Right. This dirty area right here. Well, these are all scratches. Oh. Oh, okay. 
It's already broken. Now let's just watch under the water. On newer sharks, they have little grooves across the brushes so you can cut all the hair out. Crevices cleaner. Spray, spray the brush itself. And then you see there's foam. A little bit of suds going off. Get a little bit back there. So I'll start off with the towel. In just a second, I'm gonna go get a microfiber towel, and I'm going to. So here is the finished shark navigator brush roll. So again, there's a, as I said, a couple specks of hair on here, but it was very dirty. But it's not anymore. Bearing spins a lot easier. I can feel it, and so does this one. So now, next is this plate cover. There's no electrical things on here. I pulled them all out. So now, use the brush bristles to get in all these little crevices right here. There's this area right here. There's this brush area right there. Ow. Very sharp plastic. <laughs> and even clean the top of the vacuum. The outside part. Visible part. Maybe some of these scratches. Because the better the vacuum looks, the more likely you have another customer. Those are scratches, but you can get some of the dirt off of it. This this piece I'm cleaning right here is the brush roll cover, so you can see the brush. But eventually, it gets so dirty that you can't see the brush anymore. Let's give it a good old shot of this soap. Shut the water off a second and start scrubbing around to get some suds. There's dark water. That's dust from the motor. That's what that is. This tube fill. Tube that's leaking going out from here. There's a nice corner right here. There. Fiber towel. There. Place where the motor goes. Right there. These are a super, super absorbent towel, so they have no problem picking up the stuff, that, all the water and the dirt that's in here. I only ever use microfiber on vacuums and on car interiors because they work the best. I could put this in front of a fan and let it dry. I don't think I have a fan here. Nah, that's, a, that's what I do. 
and I fixed my own vacuums. There's this little vent here for more air. I wish they didn't put those vents there because then dirt couldn't get up inside of here. This piece is almost dry already. All right, that should go dry on this table over here. Here's more, here's the three pre-motor filters right here. So how I clean these is I'm just gonna go like this across with a little trickle of dish soap. That is not a trickle. Well, I, <laughs> I mean a little trickle at a time. Not the entire thing isn't a trickle. And I'm just gonna go and start squishing the filter to get the dish soap inside of the filter. Here's the third one. And then here's our HEP, not HEPA, this is a, this is supposed to be white, so. Let's see, this came off my hands. I'm gonna throw up. Yeah, this is, no, actually not dirt, this is dust from the motor. Get this on camera right here. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's move this guy so we can get dirty. <laughs> That's years worth of dirt from the motor right here. This. Yeah. See, so is there anything in the sink blocking it? No, there's not. So it's just the foam. Let's just wrap this in here and just do this. Get it really sudsy. Gotta get some soap on this. This is just so nasty. <laughs> this is the dirtiest post filter I've ever seen. I don't think this has ever been cleaned in the entire life of the vacuum cleaner. Let's just do this. We still have dirt escaping from this. The importance of soap to rinse or to wa wash out these filters. Water doesn't cut it after a while. Once this dirt starts building up, you need soap, you need detergent to get the dirt out of the filters. Just hard to squeeze. Let's try to do one more thing. Shut the water off for a second. And take it across here and just. We do this so that it help scrub out the filter. Now I'm going to put a little more dish soap on it. And I'm just going to do this with my hand. See, water's running more clear. All right, rinse. And then I'm going to use a microfiber towel to press the filter out and get it. So we show a filter drying technique that I've learned over the years. Pretty cool. I have to make sure to get all soap out. I'm going to keep squeezing until the water is clear. Okay, I don't, you see my soap coming out? I see a little bit. A little bit. A couple more squeezes. I need to get all the soap off my hands. I was going to say, get it off your hands. Yeah, that was, that was pretty bad. All right, yeah, now let's definitely. go over to the microfiber towel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold the towel over like this. Those are stains that have been there. Those, this has been washed before. Unfold, unfold, unfold. Here's our filter almost dry. I'll put this on this piece of plastic right here. See, now it weighs less. Now, it weighs less because there's less dirt in there. It was heavier earlier. Most of that went down the sink. Here's our previous filters. There's not much dirt out of these filters. As I said before, they are pretty clean. However, an orange stain got on there. Maybe nacho cheese. I, I really don't know how orange got on this filter. I'm sure it's, and then there's per pink or something right there too. Oh, that's total nail polish. Someone was probably cleaning it and their nail yep. polish got on mm -hmm. it. So these are probably from cleaning the filters. So at least they clean the filters at all. There's a lot of soap in this sink. You think? How's the water looking that's running out? I don't see any dirt. I don't see dirt, but I still see water. I still see soap, yeah. There's still a little bit. There's not much though, thankfully. There's not a large amount of soap going out. I had to use the last, the Dyson, I had to use the Dyson itself, the motor itself, in the Dyson to dry its filters out. Let's 
give it a really good squeeze and let's take it over to the blind stage. Do the same that we did last time. And just this time I'm just gonna hold. And then I'm gonna bend the filter itself and with the towel and press again. And we have a very clean shark filter. I'm not sure is it oh it's just a little pieces of fuzz. Alright, that's a pretty clean shark filter. Here's the next one. This one was the top one, this one was dirtier. But again, most of it ran out with the soap. Actually, it looks so, well, so similar, but I'm not sure which ones they are now. And you can see there's a lot of soap in it. And then there's this guy in here, I'll put him right here. But now, this hose. So, I'm gonna pull this off. There it is. It's, let's pry it out and see what we got in here. Oh my gosh, it's, it's lining the whole length of the hose. I'm gonna grab this by a, um, air tube right here. Another piece of something clogged. So we have a receipt. No, um, we have a Carl's Jr. receipt. <laughs> and we have a sticker and a lot of air. Uh. So I'll check this last one right here. This is the whole air path. Okay, it's clear. So I stripped the vacuum down. The motor is clean. So the motor doesn't even work. The rest of the vacuum, the cord is, the little piece right here is broken off the vacuum, but it's not a huge deal. It's not something that is gonna be a fire hazard or anything. I'm gonna wipe this out, I'm not gonna rinse this. It's too much. So I have this cyclonic assembly of some sort. So this needs to be clean. I'm gonna spray some detergent in here. Now let's give it the good old dish soap treatment, get it. A little bit of dish soap and all the little cyclones. Now let's just shake it around. Let that guy sit. Okay then. I don't know what's going on out there. Give it a bath. Fill this thing with water as far as it can go. Not too far. Now I'm going to fill the bottom with water. Yep, this is how I clean it. Let's dump it out the top. There we go. Now, water again and this time I'm going to apply detergent to the water. Decent bit. Spray this lid again. Give this guy a little scrub off. Okay, I'm going to put the camera around my neck now. I'll attempt to aim towards this. Hey, it's actually working. Now let's spin it upside down. Now let's rinse out this cyclonic thing. There's a lot of dirt in here. Let's just keep it soaking. 
give it a bath. Super. Going? All right, so I'm reassembled the Shark Navigator. Well, I'm gonna reassemble it, I've cleaned it. As much, mostly, I have to, there's one thing I forgot, I have to go get a sponge. Just to...
filter three. In we go. Cyclone. Let's make sure there's no water left in here. No cleaner. All right. Cyclone. Can you hear me? That filter assembly thing right there. Yeah. Thanks. All right. Fits in in any direction, it doesn't matter. It's all the same around. It is in place. And this tube the attachment. There's two of those right here. Brush goes right there. This goes right here. Now let's give a suction test, make sure we have good airflow and suction through the vacuum. We need to find that cord. You need to hook. Yeah. yeah. We need yeah. to find. No, we need to like get. Wow. That's impressive. That's very much so working. All right. You can pause that. We got to find that. shark and the condition that it was in probably another few months but now a couple years all right that's it bins back in place that is the finished shark so stay tuned for more videos everyone Bye-bye.